at the at a, at a music magazine, you have a lot of levels of exposure. You have the front of the book, which is usually dedicated to smaller, short profiles. Um, we have a section called Gen F, which is uh, our bullpen, as it were, for you know people that eventually I think will warrant larger features and possibly covers. Um, then you have your feature well, which is dedicated to people that are right now important making music, and then of course you have your cover story, your cover stories, which are what's selling the magazine and, and arguably the hottest, most relevant thing right now. You know, one of the things you can always have, especially in like a scene story, is just to mention, a, a, you know, if someone's framing a larger story, they'll definitely get to the nuts and bolts of it and figure out who the supporting characters are. And so that there are mentions in feature stories, which are good because it, it, it you know, assumes that you're part of a larger whole and not just, you know, a satellite artist. Um, and then there's back of the book kind of reviews of new releases, you know, re-releases, vinyl, whatever else. Um, and that's great too because that really tends to focus on the album, what's coming out, and is a very timely way of getting exposure. I mean, I think we're, we're always looking for people that are different, you know? I mean, if you're another Electro Clash revival meets The Kinks meets, you know, Captain Beefheart, <laughs> you know, there are a lot of bands that are doing the same thing. I think it's because in the music industry, when one formula works, why not try it again? Um, but people that are pulling from sources outside of the main, the, you know, the box are definitely of interest to us. Um, that said, there is such a thing as like too many gimmicks, you know, and when people seem, when the music isn't driven through passion, is not coming from passion and is come from, coming from some abject idea of like, this would be cool if I, you know, performed with a bucket of chicken on my head and did like ballet funk in Japanese, that would be great. You know, that's not real, you know. And so fundamentally, you always want to have that passion there. But if that passion is like extending into different forms of music making and, you know, from, from places that we're not necessarily looking in, that's great. I mean, anything that separates you from the crowd, I think, is, is a good idea.